Ja. Hello and welcome to this uh, live session from uh, Shushan uh, Lilyamir. Um, my name is Einar Kalsvig. I work as a trainer for the Norwegian Olympic Association here in Lilyamir. And uh, I'm here with the Norwegian uh, team cross country. And we're, we're going to do a session that will uh, we'll focus on some, do some mobility work. We'll do some uh, stability and core work and also some uh, technical stuff. Um, and it, it's a similar session that I, we usually do with the cross country skiers here in Norway. Um, okay, I think we'll just start and we'll uh, I'll talk some more during the session. And if you have some questions, uh, just uh, you can ask in the chat, right? Yeah, good. Okay, well, uh, we'll start with some uh, mobility work. Um, you all know the drills, uh, you've done it before, but we'll start off down on the mat, down on your back. And we'll do some rotations over. Keep your uh, knees bent, good. Okay, when you're on the side, just grab a hold of your toe and extend your knee a couple of times and then change to the other side. <laughs> okay, cross country skiers, uh, they usually don't have to be, uh, have the mobility of gymnasts, but the main goal is to, um, make your mobility or of your lack of mobility um, don't uh, be a problem uh, with technical performance or make you injury prone. So that's the main reason why we work on it. Okay, straight leg over and to the side, a bit more tempo. Okay, down in your uh, on your front, facing me. I will go like this. Good. Yeah. Bit faster, come on. Then we'll go straight leg. Good. So we try the scorpion as well, all the way around. Just a big, slow movement. Go as far as you can with your uh, uh, straight leg and then bend the knee at the end. Good. Okay, good. From this position, just go down there, hold a second or two, and then change.
Okay, good. We'll go to this position. Just try to keep your shoulders to the ground and then change again. This isn't too bad, guys. Not that bad. I think I saw worse ones in uh, 2005 with the football team. <laughs> oh, it's good, it's good. Okay, from this position, just rotate all the way, if you're able to. Hopefully a bit better than me. And then change side again. I won't show you too many times because I'm afraid I won't get up again. <laughs> good, good. Couple of more, and then we'll change. Okay, good. This position. Pull up to here and we'll try to grab a hold behind your cuff and down again. Again, grab a hold and back again. One more. Okay, good job. In this position, we'll do some lunges here, just to the front. To the front. And uh, try to, when you're coming up, um, try to pull your leg straight up, not going out in a circle. That uh, we need you to have some stability on this leg. So if you're able, just pause a minute, a second before you go to the front. Just up, stand one leg a bit, and then to the front. Good. Obviously, a bit difficult <laughs> one leg sometimes especially if you only have one leg. <laughs> but you're used to adapting exercises, so just uh, make the best of it. Perik, forgot about the medicine balls. Not the medicine ball. Ah, it's a <laughs> Okay, we'll go to the side. Same thing. Try to uh, balance a bit, just to keep your balance over your, uh, your hip, and then go out again. Up, push out. Up, push out. Good.
do a couple of more in the front. This time, I wanted to try to keep your pelvis uh, stable and not go into a very, uh, what do you call it, an arch in your back. Try to keep this and, and stay over with the upper body. Keep tight, not uh, bend your uh, back too much. A bit faster, front, front, and then side, and side. Good. Okay, good. Um, as I said earlier, we try to open each session with uh, sort of active mobility. We um, tend to use movement to work on the mobility. And uh, I think it's uh, important for some, um, some sports where you uh, have some static uh, movement patterns. So just, um, I think it can be valuable to move in a different way than you're used to. So for cross country and for uh, cyclists and, and um, sports that, that tend to use the same kind of movements all the time, I think it's uh, useful to do something else sometimes. And you can do a lot of these or just uh, 10 minutes like we did now, 10, 15 minutes. Um, it's a good way to uh, start the, the session. Okay, and as I said earlier, you don't have to be a gymnast, but uh, you need to have uh, enough mobility um, to keep you from uh, um, having bad movement patterns, bad technical performance. Okay, we'll um, do some uh, uh, more work. I think today we'll, we'll um, combine some technical um, technical exercises with some physical ones, uh, which means that you have to be focused when you're doing the technical stuff, um, because then we're mostly, uh, uh, the quality uh, will decide. Um, it's important that you have good quality. Uh, with the physical stuff, um, you can uh, think more about the repetitions. But we'll try to combine them today. Okay, we'll uh, we'll start down um, on the mat. Uh, from this position, we'll do some pelvic tilt. We've done this before, just back and forth, and try to keep your uh, your upper body stable. So just back and forth with your pelvis. That um, demands some mobility around the hips. And the reason we sometimes work on this is when you're doing cross-country skiing, uh, you have to be stable in your pelvis uh, around this area when the pole hits the ground. What happens if, if you slip here? Go like this on the skis. We want you to keep a stable position up here. So we'll do some work on the, um, on the, on the abs. Uh, if we go down to this position on the mat, are able to do the same thing there, back and forth, keep uh, your upper body stable. <laughs> Something funny there. <laughs> okay, if you can uh, just pull on your elbows a bit, same time as you um, activate your abdominals. Can you feel the connection? Good. You feel you're using your your uh, abdominal muscles, your stomach. Seems like you are, good. Okay, stand up.
Ok, you can stand on the, on the not on your mat. Do some uh, um, one leg squat, uh, but we'll do it. Try to hit the position you're supposed to be hitting on your skis. That means that we're going down like this, and trying to keep your um, uh, your upper body parallel with the leg, with the calf. That's what the textbook of cross country technique says. Anyway, so if you have uh, a mirror uh, at home or something to calibrate, something to see if you if you're hitting the position, that's probably good. Um, but this is uh, how we uh, think is uh, it's a good idea to keep pressure on the skis. We're doing uh, five or six reps on each leg. Good. And this is a movement you all know very well. I can tell. Change legs. Good. Okay, so this is not supposed to be that uh, that hard or that uh, you're not su so supposed to be tired. You're supposed this is a technical drill, so the quality is the most important thing. Okay, uh, we'll do uh, exercises on the mat. You've done it before. A back nip, maple. Right there, there, there. Just uh, roll up your mat. Grab a hold of your medicine bowl, if you have one, or something else. Sleeping. Can you show me, uh, Eric? Okay. So, trying to rotate the pelvis again. Good. And keep your knees straight to the to the ceiling, and uh, try not to bring your thighs uh, towards you. This is supposed to be a hard exercise, so we won't be able to do that many with good quality. And also try to focus on keeping your upper body uh, in a stable position, just still. Supposed to be keep breathing during the exercise. Good. Hopefully you won't be able to do that many. If you're doing it right, you won't probably not be able to do 20 of these. Good job. This is supposed to be hard. Okay, back up, we'll do some more uh, later. Same as we did before. Now you can stand in a mat. It's a bit unstable, but not that much. We'll do it a bit faster. So we'll do, go the, down this like this and behind, and down like this, and behind. We'll do uh, five, six, seven, eight reps on there. Good. Perfect. And again, good. The idea is to uh, do um, perform the exercise like you would on uh, on skis. So not like this, and not like this. The try to get a good dynamic movement. That's uh, you all did very well. Okay. We'll do um, one set on the, on the back, so we'll lie on the front, and uh, we can, uh, if you have a, a drinking belt or a flask or something, we'll uh, grab a hold of that, and 
we'll go up with that. Pass it around the back. Pass it the other way around the back and down. And then up. Good. The other way and then down. Good. And I'll go, get, go uh, grab a coffee while you do this until I get back. Should be okay. Ah, perfect. Three more reps. At least. Ah, good. Perfect. Back on your feet. OK, we'll do one more set of uh, the very simple exercise we did before, but now we'll try to do it with your eyes closed. Is that possible? It's probably best to stand on the floor, not on the mat. I'm not sure. But if you're able to stand on the mat, it's good. You can do it. Uh, good. It's supposed to be difficult. Some of you are more used to uh, manage without seeing that much, so. Uh, good. Okay, you do you decide uh, for yourself how many you're going to do. So I said earlier, if the quality goes down, you should take a break. It's not supposed to be very tiring. Okay, good. Uh, we'll do some uh, one more set of um, um, uh, pelvic tilt with the uh, what do you call it bump in the mat. But this time we'll try to bring the ball up when your uh, when your knee knee goes up to the ceiling. You also bring the ball up. Good. That's supposed to be hard as well. Do as many as you can. Keep going till you're really tired. Ah, uh, good. Okay. Good. Is it hard? 
Good, good. I think it's uh, nice to have uh, do some um, work with the core and, and uh, abs that do some exercises that are hard enough to make you exhausted before you hit 20 or 15. So it's good to maybe do a variation, but this is um, this is hard, so you'll probably tire before you get to 15. Okay, back up again. You ready? Clear it. Okay, um, we'll uh, fold up the mat a couple of times. And we'll keep working on the, the dynamic movement on top of the skis. So, um, Mikko, the part Finnish guy with long hair that was here yesterday, <laughs> he, he used to, um, he was a really good um, Nordic combined athlete, uh, as you all know. But uh, he uh, used to think of um, when he was doing technical work on uh, on uh, skis uh, that he was standing on a scale, you know, old fashioned uh, bathroom scale that has this uh, needle going up. So what we're trying, you can imagine standing on a scale and we'll try to get the needle to go as far up as possible. And to do that, you need to push down like this and uh, try to get as much pressure down into the imaginary scale as you can. Good. You can also use your arms, that's good, like you would on poles, when you're, when you're uh, having poles. Ah, good. Really good, Wilda. Wilda. Okay. Five or six reps on each leg. Okay, good. Uh, you feel okay? Yeah, you've done this before, I can see it. Uh, the idea is that if you're actually standing on the scale, um, it's probably a good idea to keep the mass over. So hit, uh, hit the scale with all your body weight. Um, same thing might be true on skis, to, keep the, to be able to push in a good manner. We'll do some push later, but um, when you're pushing down and creating pressure, um, it's probably a good idea to do like you did now. Um, have a good dynamic, uh, and uh, if you're pushing too much with your, uh, with your upper body, you probably see it in the scale. Same thing if you're uh, not able to get a good coordination on top of the scale. The same thing we're trying to do outside on the on the with the skis. Um, good, go down uh, to the mat again. We'll do some uh, um, lie on your uh, on your on your stomach on your front. We'll do some uh, uh, lifts with the machine, uh, with the ball, medicine ball. Just uh, go up and down with the ball if you're able. Good. Big slow movement. And again, I don't care how many you do, I just want you to get tired. <laughs> Good.
seven kilos. <laughs> you got the heaviest ball. 90, 90 kilos. Yeah. <laughs> Strongest guys get the heaviest balls. Does that reflect the, the strength difference between you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he has five and you have 90. <laughs> Okay, good. Up on your feet again. A lot of up and down today. Okay, we'll do uh, one more with the imaginary scale. Um, once again, we'll try to go a bit faster. So we'll go, try to get the good rhythm. Yeah, good. Up and down, come on. It's much more difficult with the balance. Try to get a good rhythm and keep going. Good, good. You decide when you change legs. Good job. Okay, good. If you have a medicine ball that uh, has some bounce in it. You can uh, do this with the medicine ball. You have done, done that before. Um, same drill. Just uh, throw the ball to the ground, and um, could be a good uh, extension of the the drill. All right. Uh, done the mat again. Um, we'll do one more um, with the curled up mat. Uh, and uh, you can choose if you want to go up with the ball or not, or just stay down. Maybe you should uh, just uh, stay with the ball down and try to go uh, lower with your legs. Did you get me? Think so? Good. Up with the pelvis and then out with your legs, if you're able to. That's really hard. Good. You can do like uh, Vilde is doing also, with one uh, leg at a time. If you attach your arms to something uh, like a wall or something, uh, grab a hold uh, to something stable, it's uh, easier to, of course, to lower your legs, but uh, do it like this today. Good. Okay. Up again. Once more. Uh, I think uh, if you have shoes, that would be a good idea to not where you come from. Uh, okay. Uh, we can't see the top of the scroll. Do you guys do? Imitation work before you before you ski, go out on skis. Yeah, you do this uh, kind of what we have done before. I think we'll do one round of that. Um, as I said earlier, the um, a lot of athletes like to do some imitation work before they go out, just to um, sort of. Uh, 
uh, get the technical idea clear in their head. And I think also that's a good idea to do sometimes. Um, could be two, four, five minutes before uh, a skiing session, just to focus on uh, the kind of technical issue um, that you're working with. So I think we'll do some skate, just double and a small push. Good. We'll do a bit more jump later, but uh, and again, just here you have to be focused. The quality is what matters. Good. And if you're able to, if you have a mirror or something, it would be a good idea to uh, take a look and see how the position, how you're positioning yourself. Good. Okay, good. Good. Looks okay. Good. We'll do uh, one more uh, exercise for the back. Um, you're lying on your, on your stomach. We'll do some small lifts with the ball. So it's quicker movement now. Just uh, up and down. If you, if you have a bouncy ball, you can bounce a bit. But the uh, main thing is we'll do some quick, quick movements. Yeah, good. Mr. 90 kilos. Yeah, good. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Back up again. One guy is way ahead of you. Okay. Um, I think we'll do a bit uh, longer push now. So think of the scale as uh, we talked about uh, earlier. Try to push down, get the heavy push. So you're pushing down and then uh, same thing. Try to get a lot of force down into the ground and push off. Yeah, good. So it's a longer, good. Okay, good. Again, this isn't supposed to kill your legs, so just take some, take breaks on this. Okay, we'll do some uh, a bit of uh, the same thing, but now we'll try to um, do a quicker movement. So we'll just do some uh, one-legged work. Uh, we'll go a bit forward first and turn around and go back again. So we'll do the same thing here. The same dynamic applies. So we're trying to hit the same positions as we did uh, when we uh, were doing a slower movement. Same thing. 
front and then uh, turn around and go back again. Or jump back. You can do that as well. Ah, good. Okay. Okay, good. Take a break. Take a break. And in the break, I think we'll do one more on the mat for the abs. Uh, then you can choose which one of the three you want to do. Yeah, with the ball up, with the uh, knees to the ceiling, or with the knees. Um, more in the front. That didn't sound so clear. OK, we'll try to do a quicker movement, OK? Same thing as before, quicker movement. Come on, bam, bam, bam. Good. No break here, come on. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Good. Perfect. Ah, oh, come on, last one now, come on. Very good. Okay, good. Good job. Back on your feet. Okay, we, uh, we're jumping a bit uh, to the front and back now. Now jump sideways. So same thing. No, sorry. I think we'll go this way. Of course. And back you go. Okay. Same movement. Ah, good. Really good. Yes. Good. Bit difficult with the left leg. <laughs> okay, good. Take a break. Perfect. Really good. So we're we're just challenging we're trying to do the same thing really same movement but in uh, different ways um, as we're trying uh, outside the skis okay um, let your leg rest a bit and then we'll uh, i think we'll do some uh, lower um, do a couple of more on the legs okay a couple of more push We'll do one um, where we're uh, really challenging the, the legs. So we're, we're deeper than we uh, normally do on skis. We're sitting down here from side to side. OK, try to keep lower than you usually do. Yeah, good. And push. Oh, this is about tilpas. You're used to adapting to new. <laughs> okay, good. Feel okay? Looks looks great. Good job. A um, couple of things we're trying to work on with this uh, exercise is um, keeping quite narrow. I suppose uh, it means uh, it's probably a, a good idea to not keep the, the back leg in a position like this. Try to keep it on the same level. Um, 
it's much easier with the balance when you're over here than if you're standing like this. It open up, opens up your hip and um, it's more difficult technically. So try to keep it. You all did very well. I think I've yelled at you before, maybe. Or from someone else. You did great. Okay. Uh, I think, shall we try that with the medicine ball as well? Just to challenge your feet, your legs even more. But then uh, stop before you're uh, completely tired, okay? So same thing, challenge yourself a bit from this position. Go down and uh, try to do a powerful push. Yeah, good. Far as you can. And then take your break. Good. Come on, push. Good. Okay, a break. Tired or it's been hard. So it feels okay in the legs. Good. We'll do one more. Uh, not with the medicine ball. We'll do it without. But I like uh, I like the attitude. <laughs> I think we'll do a small jump in between. So we'll go like. Uh, you've done this before. As far as you can. Okay. Good. Use your legs. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Small break. The last thing we'll do. Uh, it's the same thing with the medicine ball. It's the hardest thing. It's the last thing we're doing today. We'll take a, a bit longer break. Now. Uh, I think we'll do three. Four jumps on each leg, four jumps. It's not that much, but uh, those jumps should be powerful. Uh, what do you think? What's best for you? For the balance, I think it's hard to stop. Okay, then you stop. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, We've done a lot of uh, different uh, exercises now, and um, and um, this can be examples of ways of doing it. So, um, and each athlete sometimes have a favorite exercise. Uh, some like to stand on balls, and uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you do the one you think the last one. Do the one you think uh, benefits you the most. Okay. Good, powerful push. Come on, good. All right, good. Um, very good job. Thank you for uh, for the session. Um, that's about 50 minutes, I think. Uh, are there any questions from the guys? Frederick, your everything is clear for you. That's good. Okay, I think we'll wrap up. Um, thank you for today. See you guys later, probably. Thanks.